Jcast here. Welcome back to Faulty Apprentice Alpha Build for Chapter 1. I've been having a lot of fun. Let's just dive right into it. I think it's time to go to sleep. It's pretty late. Should I go to sleep? Of course I should go to sleep. Get off to sleep. Good morning. Good morning. Did you know that talking doesn't you take betcha. any time? Oh look, look! You told me right now, and I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been suspicious of that. The instructors can be a bit intimidating, but you should try getting to know them <laughs> or get to know me. Tee hee! All right, I'll let you go now. Sugar, have a nice day. Okay, I still can't do anything with equipment. Let's check relationship status, character status, dex, high dex. Okay, has there any new locations popped up? No. Well, you know me, I like talking to everybody, so. <laughs> Can you imagine what it would be like to be royal? Nothing but tea and carrot cakes to eat all day. Ooh, that sounds good. Ooh wee, what a life that would be. I don't know what Angeline was thinking turn away from her nobility. She could be wearing dresses instead of armor. Ooh, Angeline. Oh, so the commander's royalty. I guess that's why she's probably royalty. Uh, I don't know. To be about honest, that. it's hard to imagine the commander wearing a gown though. Even before war was declared, Angeline wore nothing but armor. Um, that reminds me of a rumor I've heard the other day. Sugar, my girlfriend said that Princess Priscilla, who name drop, ignored the commander's orders and didn't evacuate. Really interesting. You betcha. I reckon you'd have to be the princess to get away with defying the commander's orders. Angeline certainly isn't someone I would want to be upset with. Um, Seems reckless I if the rumor is true. I like how there's all these rumors, because then you're like, huh, which is which? Is You get to choose what you want to go with. If Princess Priscilla were to fall into the hands of the enemy, the consequences would be worse than a hurricane in a hay farm. Oh, so she's outside the castle. I don't know about that. Battle strategy has never been one of my strengths, sugar. You reckon the princess is the castle is a good or a bad thing? She should inspire troops that way. She's a target of the enemy. Hmm... You betcha. That's a good point, Apprentice. I know us girls will do our best to keep it safe. If that rumor's true, you mark my words, Apprentice. Ain't nothing gonna happen to the Princess on my watch. You watch and see now, yeah, yeah? Funny guard seems inspired by your conversation with her. Good. Boom! Morale! Bye bye now. Oh no, these two. What would you like? I suppose I have a moment. Oh, I guess I can do it. As if. Ugh. So uncouth. What? Oh, it's just you, Apprentice. When I heard you stomping in, I was worried you were the sword instructor. Obviously. Ooh, she didn't like Maria. You're just a farm boy, so you have an existence. How many times are they going to keep calling me a farm boy? I thought I was like an apprentice to all these different things. I guess I'm not sophisticated. But that sword instructor is the last graceful woman I've As ever met. If. One can be a good fighter while still following proper etiquette, especially when she's not even on the battlefield. As if. Have you ever eaten with a sword instructor? She doesn't even know what fork to use. Once, when I pointed that out, she started eating with her <laughs> hand. <laughs> Troll you back. Granted, they were just for dinner rolls, but... I'm not sure what your training exactly entails, Prince, but I hope you're at least learning table manners. There are different forks? No, I do that. It's Obviously. Oh, that's good. Everyone should learn at least the basics hmm. of etiquette. Okay, so she's posh. I like it. Maybe. You clearly have a lot more than that, however. Boost that morale. That's the reason I'm talking to you. Hi, tie to ye. Hi, hi. Sword instructor something ain't. Oh, man. So is she gonna like her or not? Not many warriors lift after her. Okay, so. Fox doesn't quite like her, but the shark likes her good. I... Many of the crew feared the poor lass wouldn't survive the night. But the alchemist was able to fix her right nice up. Nay, says I! The fox guard says the sword instructor scar. Was... The fox guard says the sword instructor scar were hideous. Okay, guys. So this should be was hideous. Because this is a singular with a plural verb. So the fox guard says the sword instructor scar was hideous. Or you could put the sword instructor with an apostrophe, the sword instructor's scar was hideous, or if she had multiple scars, which I don't think so, it'd be sword instructor's scars were hideous, but it should be sword instructor's scar 
was hideous. I have scars of me own, and I take pride Yo! in it. She got scars too, but I'm not sure what she hides. It. You got scars as well, don't you, lad? Smooth as an eel. <laughs> uh, I don't want to lie. I don't think I've got any scars. Okay, let's see what happens. Arr, don't tempt me. I eat eels for lunch. I think I'm hungry. Did that change it? Okay, so I had a hypothesis. I don't know what it is. So maybe there's three answers because one boosts the morale, one lowers the morale, and one is like a neutral and doesn't change it. Yeah. So that's just my hypothesis. Hey, maybe. Mm -hmm. I didn't wonder. ask you to buy ale for her, did she? She's going to meet me. She's going to get me in trouble if the first guy finds out I've been giving her extra. Oh yeah, she, she is in charge know. of rations. I've already gotten an earful about the sweet rolls, and that's more than enough for me. Oh, you were just asking about her? <laughs> I usually visit Star's Reach during the Spring Festival, so I have seen my share of Bria's after parties. After the fireworks, Bria Ria rallies the troops for the castle round, as she calls them. I love how all the interconnectedness, they know each other pretty well. One year I give it a try, but some of those guards drink a lot more than you might suspect. After the third stop, I had the clunk quit. It's probably I don't know. for the best, though. Because that year the girls got so rowdy, I heard a group of them snuck over to Fort Isaac to see the boy soldiers. Huh? So there are boy soldiers. Fort Isaac. So it was really cool. I think it was Kickstarter. They did this cool map thing where we could like choose our own adventure and allowed us to explore the world outside of Star's Reach. And so there's Fort Isaac. And then... The wet tunic contest. I forget the name of the town, but there's a little village that that's at as well. Certainly. The guards here can have a one night fling and sneak back into the castle, but I have to stop by the fortress on my way. Oh, Brindle, that's what it's called. Poo, it's awkward enough being the only girl in Fort Isaac. Oh, Sheffy. Can you imagine if word got out I had a relationship with one of the soldiers? Well, according to how this thing is my turn, I have a relationship with moi. Not if it's the right guy. I don't know that really everyone would know. Not if it's the right guy. Mm. That's the right guy. I wonder. Hmm. You might have a good point up with this. All I have been thinking about is what could happen if I start a relationship with a bad guy. But I should have been thinking about what attributes or skills I like in a man. Thank you! Please come again! Oh, God! Tilt your head inquisitively. This is waiting. Okay, this should be as if, right? As if. The dog guard tilts her head inquisitively as if. Switch this to is to if. Waiting for you to say something. That's it. I'm so sleepy, I feel like a ram guard. I love all the emotes. Every now and then, Eliana and I will play dress up. Staying up till the late hours of night, dressing me up in all sorts of outfits. One time, we caught Dern all watching us from outside the window. Of course you did. I didn't mind Eliana was very upset about it. I didn't mind, but Eliana was very upset about it. How is she not? Oh no, don't don't turn them against each other. Sounds like fun. I'm exceptionally good at holding a pose, if you don't know. We have so much fun together making me pose in different positions. Maybe I can convince Eliana to host a fashion show one day. Morale boost! Okay. Very well. Very well, Celeste. Everything in order, Apprentice? What? I can't talk to her. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Apprentice. Apprentice, yes. Oh, I can't talk to you either! Very well. Okay, well. I guess if you try talking to people too long, they won't want to talk to you ever. Hmm. Hey. Or guard, or guard, hail Apprentice! Yeah, I'll talk to you. If we had a copper for every time the archery instructor made me open the west gate for her. Okay, okay, so here's the funny thing, right? In the original demo, you meet the archery instructor actually out in the woods as you approach this. And so it's interesting there's this ode here. That's pretty cool. I'd have enough to copper to have an axe Not forge. Now I don't mind doing my job and all, but every time I ask where she's off to or where she's expected to be, she says it's Mind's no business of mine. It's. It's me job to ask if it's saying me, like that's a, what do you call it, that's an accent way. Unless you're trying to say it's my job, but that's up to how they want her to talk. I think if it's me job, it'd be more for the shark pirate. It's my job, but it's my job to ask questions when folks come in 
now it starts reaching you see not on my watch not on my watch sad face one of these days she's going to get me in trouble if you haven't noticed yet the first guard isn't the type to accept excuses <laughs> who is the first guard no she i i am mentis if everyone does their best that's all we can ask for i look forward to fighting beside you in the final battle i like how they all know that there's going to be a final battle it's, it's kind of meta so there's no like battles in between it's just the final battle Today. Today. Get back to the chapel. Greetings. The hidden forest is a mysterious and wonderful place. Your sin is amazing. Hmm. Hmm. To be honest with you, I was frightened to hear more has been declared. The bunny guard and I were planning to evacuate with the rest of the villagers to Fort Isaac. Oh really? Of course. Oh. We decided to stay when we saw the royal commander unflinching determined to determination to protect. So wait, if you're a guard but you can go other places and Fort Isaac has boy guards. We were so inspired when she told us we all have a choice and it's up to you to decide what to do with the time that is given to you. Interesting, so they were given a choice. That sure is inspiring. Of course. It certainly was. Of course. I like these little, um... They're, they're little phrases that they say because then it gets me into their character a lot easier. It certainly was. I still get goosebumps when I think about it. Don't get me wrong, I'm still terrified of the war, but I have hope. Okay, I might want to do May a your job antlers here. grow strong. Okay. Greetings, traveler! You smell good for a human. Mm -hmm. These lances were... These lances we get as soldiers are rad, aren't they? How long do you think they are? Guess, guess! Twelve feet? No way! Sorry, I should have let you guess. <laughs> you get so excited sometimes, you know. Twelve feet! Wow! These are lances. Almost like pikes. Well, they're not designed as pikes, but those are long. The sword instructor says my enthusiasm is good for morale. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what that means, but I figure morale... <laughs> more ale. <laughs> uh, but I figure more ale is better than less ale. Right? I don't know what morale means. Uh, or sure. Can never have enough air. <laughs> That's good. I like how people. Morale boost. <laughs> well, if it isn't Durndale, such a boy. <gasps> Only goblin filth use such mischievous contraptions. They're dangerous, unpredictable, and do damage to both sides more often than What contraptions are you talking about, swords? I heard the blast trap Bria got hit with was large enough to take out the entire company. Oh, really interesting. She's either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid to try blocking it with her sword. I like you. Okay, I, I, I should be confident enough that if you disagree with me, that wasn't you. a serious question. I was speaking- oh, dang it. First, okay, right here, it should be a lowercase i. First, I don't care what you think. <laughs> Probably not. Unless you're trying to make it everything like, unless you're trying to make it all caps, right? First, then it'd all be caps. But in second, a farm boy like you could never do anything brave like that. So stop making that face and trying to talk like a hero. But you're not. Oh, look at that! Boom! Okay, so you can disagree, and then it'll be all right. Boom, boom. Good. I'll see you. I'll see you. Okay, so I've done the lower sections. Let's go over the storm room. Syndergaard fires with or against you. Indeed. Where there is fire, there is ice. Hmm. I smile. Though oft considered opposite, they both burn. True. Okay, so there's this funny thing, like... If you take a glass of hot water and a glass of cold water next to each other, and you put one finger in the hot and one finger in the cold at the same time, your body can't differentiate the two, so it just registers it as pain. Uh, many do not know that the blade of Sigurd, ooh, lore drop, has a twin named Fafnir. Interesting. Mm. The royal commander possesses one of the legendary swords, the other must exist as well, should it not? <laughs> oh, so the commander has it. If the blade of Fafnir was recovered, the one to wield it would have to incredible power. 
and I wonder if this is going to be a plot to try to find the other sword or get it away from Valtus. The ocean side of the prison tower is a testament to the commander's Indeed. strength. A thousand swords of ice await the poor souls who try to jump from the window. The commander reveals some of her power on the day of your arrival, did she not? Mm. It is no rare occurrence for the commander to have saved the farm boy's life. She believes in protecting those too weak to protect themselves. Okay, so you're all about power. Can you just call me weak? It's noble, Commander. Well, weak people. Also noble. A boy looks to mother culture for guidance on right and wrong. Only those who have need for mercy are quick to give it. No! Ay, 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 ay. So I don't understand how to deal with her or the goth guard. Well, I like that, though. It's better, it's better than... The time to Hello, them out to burn is coming. Preppy answer all the time. I hope you're having a magical day, Atlantis. I don't want to say I'm happy war has been declared. War is a terrible thing. Wonderful. But I am happy to get out of the stone room and train with Bria. Fresh air is wonderful. I don't know I'm not about too that. too fond of drills where I have to attack the other soldiers. But as a unicorn girl, I am excellent at defense. Wonderful. Protecting other living creatures is my very favorite thing in the whole wide world. Protecting other living creatures is my very favorite thing. It might just be a nuance of how she says it, right? It's a weird gram grammar right there, but that's fine. My favorite thing is sleep. <laughs> See, someone needs to do a playthrough where they just sleep the whole time. It's, it's, it's better than good. It's the best. You should try it sometime. So I didn't get, I didn't get the shirt, but um, they have some merch. AGL Studios has some merch with uh, the unicorn guard on it. It's pretty cool. I uh, bet it will make you really happy. <laughs> and if no one needs protecting, just try just making someone smile. That's what I do, and it always cheers me up. Aww. Boost. Stay happy and magical. Oh, I didn't do this first time, but I know this. Okay, if I touch this, they're gonna like sick on me. <laughs> no, nothing. Oh, it's a princess. Hoggle Sorry, we magic can't let protect you me. Only the royal commanded journal are permitted near the monastery. <laughs> Human. Wonderful. Thanks for understanding. These restrictions are not just for the safety of the stone, they are for your safety as well. I think you should Have leave. A day. I wonder if there's a secret touching like a bad egg from the other day. Of course, the mage tower. Okay, so in Patreon, uh, I'm not gonna dox him because I don't remember his name. But there's this one guy who really likes Sunny. Uh, so he's like, I'm gonna play her walkthrough first or whatever. I think if I play, if I play, uh, well in the original demo you really had to commit to one instructor at a time because you didn't have as many actions. And so if I was gonna do anything with the mage instructor, it'd probably be the very last walkthrough. Just because, like I said, I'm more in the sword and uh, bow than with magic. Which is funny, because I'm supposed to be the wizard's apprentice. The girl appeared to be mumbling to herself, but remains intently focused on the keyboard, so she does not talk much. <laughs> okay, let's see how I deal with the goth. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, I didn't see you with all this hair in my eyes. War preparations suck. Now I have to wake up early for training Mondays through Fridays. So lame. I wish the sword instructor would respect my creative hours. How am I supposed to stay up late expressing myself if I have to wake up early night? Ah, uh, okay. Even though I'm not, like, gelling with her morale-wise, I'm such a night owl. Just oh. Like dark words should be written in the dark hours. See, that sounded wicked. Not totally I told lame. you I was good at poetry. That was super... Uh, uh that's how it's... Oh, no, I forgot. I can't... I have to be, like, melodramatic about it. As if someone with a perfect life like yours would get my poetry. Oh man, I'm trying too hard. I'm trying way too hard and I'm failing. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You know what'd be interesting? Because she said that one of them is like going to be a traitor, right? It would be very interesting if my morale has some sort of direct impact on which one betrays. There might be one already set story-wise from the beginning, but if there was a way for that to be changed, that would be interesting where... how you affect them. But I think the morale is mainly for the final battle. <sighs> Five sheep, six sheep, seven. Hi. Oh, that's <sighs> so from the funny guy. Okay. 
She mostly sticks to Durndal's tower up there. Someone said she has to sleep under her desk. Sounds cruel to me, but I also heard the first guard said to not ask about it. It's probably oh. not worth the effort to find out anyway. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. This is a little bit longer, but I should fix this. Right, because you don't want the words coming off the edges like that. You're right, I was being oh. selfish. Fluffy guard like okay. me and Sunny should stick together. Morale boost. See ya. Oh I'm not around. sure. Hey, wish I could chat, but I'm busy doing the whole instructor thing. Come find me over there though. Till next time, apprentice. Till next time. Flying dolphin. Yeah, don't sneak up on me like that. Yeah, totally. Did you hear how my friend Eliana told off Janessa when she found out what happened to me? Okay, so probably the reason why I had such an issue at first about like the naming of the guards or the characters is because for the longest time through the Kickstarter and for many months during Patreon, it was like this whole secret thing about like their names. But I guess maybe that's because they were developing and trying to come up with names. Now that they have a lot of them established, they're being very um, free with it and just saying... Hey, here are the names right off the bat, and I like how they're referring to each other by name. Um, except the guards. The guards aren't supposed to share their names. Did you hear how my friend Eliana told off Janessa when she found out what happened to me? Lying dolphins! Really? You didn't? None of the other guards are talking oh, about it. I swear, no. this is the worst post in the castle. Everyone forgets about you when you're all the way over here. Oh, no. I, oh, no. I wish I could thank the archery sector, but she keeps skipping out after the shift is done. She's probably busy with battle plans or something important. Flying dolphins. Really, you think so? Like one day I could get back to normal? Flying dolphins. Yeah, what do you look like normally? I guess complaining to others and stressing myself out about it really is a the situation. You always have a good way to look at things, Princess. Yay! See you around! <laughs> After a considerable amount of time effort and more yes. failed attempts than we'd like to admit, <laughs> we managed to capture the yellow cat that wanders the castle. Oh yes, the yellow cat! Okay, I won't spoil anything. I was a rather ingenious plan, if I do say so myself, you especially the part where you let the cat go. That was pure genius. Oh, shut up! Oh, the plan worked fine. You're just being a sourpuss because you didn't get your precious pudding. <laughs> the cat escaped afterwards due to unforeseeable circumstances, Correct. yes. Correct. You see, everything was working perfectly, and the cat was in the bag, so to say. We even sedated the creature before extricating, but that didn't help. <laughs> well, it happened... Well, it helped with the capture, of course, but not with the overall outcome of events. Sedation is highly effective oh, when you quit babbling and get to the part where your stupid planes are ruined. You are the absolute worst at staying on topic. Correct. That's right, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, we were at the point of transferring the specimen from the restraint straps to the operating table. Not Everything was going according to our calculations until we placed the yellow cat onto the operating table. Out of nowhere, a black cat jumped out and attacked what? us! What? Oh, yes. The yellow the mischievous beast frightened us so badly we fell down and nearly knocked over the potion cabinet. By the time we could collect ourselves, the two felines had run off. No matter how hard we try, we can't seem to catch a Durandal's assistant. Okay, so okay, so they reveal that the yellow cat is Sunny. And if I remember correctly, Sunny can change into a, like a literal yellow cat. I think she might have some magical or beastly instinct to sense danger. Have you collected any data on the yellow cat? Uh -huh, isn't it. it? You know, I just said that because I haven't talked with her. I'm just assuming she's studying hard. A perfect example of intelligence versus Correct. wisdom. Correct. The more elaborate and complex my designs to capture the cat, the more cunning she must be to avoid them. It's quite the game of cat and mouse, would you agree? Not quite. Perhaps a fox and a hound game would be better. We've never been too good with analogies. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to save chasing the yellow cat until after the final battle. Plenty of other work to attend to. Cheerio, princess. Door. Okay, Always so, open. hmm, wait. Oh, yes, 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 Detroit Become Human. Amazing game. Detroit Become Human has this concept where certain dialogue cannot, uh, cannot be locked unless certain other things happen. So, for example, her asking about 
the the witch, right? So I'm like, I haven't interacted with her. I really haven't talked with her. It'd be interesting if there's actually certain dialogue options that you can't unlock. Like at the beginning of the game, you can say whatever, but maybe later in the game, depending on their morale, your relationship with them, there's certain um, things. Um, that may take a lot of work, and I know that they have some things already planned in for like getting certain uh, specific special interactions with certain characters, but it may not take it with the whole dialogue box. But it kind of reminded me of Detroit Become Human, which is a really good game. I don't think there's anyone at the lookout point. Uh, I think I've talked to everybody. Excellent! Okay, well it's time to start doing something. We're gonna do some more archery. Train. What took you so long? I have other soldiers to train. You shouldn't keep me waiting for you like that. Waiting for me? <gasps> I ah, mean, I was like, wait, waiting, waiting for you. Uh, probably I mean, not. It's pretty obvious you want to continue archer training. I was just making sure that there was an open sa station. You're welcome. You know, she's referring to the station immediately in front of her where she stands. Huh. So, are you ready or not? Say something. Let's start training. <laughs> Remember what an ace shot you were with those dual commands? Well, that's peanuts compared to what I've planned for you today. <laughs> Quad commands! Right. That means that tiny little man brain of yours is going to have to remember a target sequence of four. So if I say right, left, up, down, you shoot right, then left, then up, then down. <laughs> when I say shoot, you say how far, right? Messing up the order in any way is a fail. You got that? I got that. <laughs> ah, we'll see about Loser. that. I'll bet you can't pass three shots. <laughs> Don't say I didn't Loser. warn you. Target sequence? Right, down, down, down. Whew, right, down, down, down. <gasps> huh? <gasps> We're not done yet. Now shoot the target in this order. Target sequence? Left, left, left right, left. Right, okay. left. Left, right, left. Ugh, How did you? you? Doesn't matter. Do the next target order. Target sequence? Down, right, up, left. Down, right, up, left. Okay, got it. Oh, oh it tells me. Like I said before, it'd be interesting if it just went as it, so you couldn't just like recall it or read it, right? Down, right, up, left. Down, right, up, left. <laughs> After making your final shot, you turn around to find the instructor transfixed on your target. <gasps> He's already mastered quad commands? Archery instructor's eyes snap to you like a hungry shadow cat. Ugh, you think you're you. too special because Durndell chose you? Just because you made a few lucky shots? It doesn't make you special. You Ugh. stupid, sloppy, human, peasant, boys! Upstart! Let me to show you how a proper archer shoots. The elf girl shoves past you and steps into the firing position. Spirits of the wind. Okay, for YouTube, I'll probably have to put a duck. As the elf girl pulls back her bow, a vortex of wind swirls around her. She releases the arrow with a flash of light and a burst of- Ouch! Ouch. An energy blessing so intense that before realizing it, you are swept off your feet. You land on your back with a tremendous thud. So you appear from the ground. Titus I've ever seen. Many travels have spoken the beauty of elf but you never imagined that they would be this beautiful. <laughs> Loser. So what did you think of that farm boy? My mother was the greatest archer in king. Ah! More backstory. And she taught me everything she knew, trying to stand up before anyone noticed. You trip over your bow and begin falling headfirst in the archer instructor. You instinctively reach for the closest thing to go to. Her, is her belt. However, that did not help the situation. Pulling on her belt, it catches on her. Scotty sweeping them away like unveiling a magic trick. With nothing to stop you. Forward momentum, your face plans between two soft <gasps> You just touched my with your Ugh, face. I knew it. You, you are nothing but a pervert. How dare you attempt to sully the purity of my bottom? Ugh, oh you. boy, I've unlocked Super Saiyan. You stupid sloppy jerk, farm boy peasant. The archery instructor readies her bow and begins charging up her attack just before. Only this time she's aiming at you. <laughs> It'd be funny if my little chibi's like, ah! I'm going to skew you like disgusting man pig you are. You have no choice but to run for your life back to the inner castle dodging arrows. Oh, that's that's cool. Hey, you gotta win some 
I mean, you gotta lose some to win some, right? Okay. Um, okay, I gotta do some sword training. All right! I was wondering if you're gonna be training today. I'm free right now if you want to do a couple rounds. Training with the sword instructor will increase your strength. Would you like to begin training? Yes. <laughs> How did you right. say that? You were on a roll yesterday chopping those logs, so I can see where you are eager to get uh, back into it. And speaking of rolls, I need to cut back. Oh yeah, that's right, the fox guard said something about her eating rolls. They're delicious, but they're not helping my figure, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just kidding, well, kinda. I really wanted to talk about a different kind of roll. Next, I want you to try doing three attacks in a row. Oh, I see I'm what you did there. Not I guess sure. the rule analogy doesn't work very well, but you get what I mean, right? Hit the logs one after another without Got missing. It. If you miss, the combo will reset and you have to start all over again. Believe it or not, a lot of soldiers can't handle making mistakes and lose the courage <laughs> to continue. You're Durandal's apprentice, though, so I'm sure you'll, you're used to making tons of mistakes. Okay, that was a backhanded. Ah, uh, go ahead and give me a combo three. Sort of. Okay. So, I have discovered, I haven't told you my secret, but I can hold down my mouse, and it keeps it uh, <laughs> activated, right. so I just have to move my mouse around. I guess it's interesting, because I believe, if I remember correctly, from the Kickstarter, um, it got a, a stretch goal, so it'll be able to go on mobile. And so I like how the little mini-games are uh, designed in such a way that I can use it on a computer, but then someone on their phone can also do it. Wow, I see you take challenges seriously. I like that. Let's kick the combo up to five. Think you sword up. All right. Yeah, you made the combo strike look easy. Don't stop the fury. Go for combo seven. Sword hits. up. Oh yes, let's do this. <gasps> okay, so these aren't very hard, but it'd be interesting if there was like, you've gone to the top, you can do, you've unlocked or whatever, and then there's like an ability to like see how many combo in a row you can go. It's like, it's like those games that have like a leader, not a leaderboard, but like a, um, a personal best. Like I was able to do 200 in a row. So the way you did that one swing, it reminded me of this one time I was training with Sir Quintus. Uh, another Sir Quintus is epic. Um, we haven't seen him yet, but I know he is. As your new friend begins to regale you with stories of her past, you can't help but feel at ease. She easily strays off topic or forgets what she's saying altogether, but just keeps I'm going. I'm not so I was, sure. I'm not sure the first card actually did it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Soon you find yourself laughing along and smiling all back right. at her. Of course, we all got in huge trouble after that. As you attempt to savor the moment, absorbing and recording this feeling of tranquility in your mind, you can't. Something about the sword instructor seems off, like she was wounded in the fight with the goblins. With the best intentions, you visually inspect the sudden discoloration in the open part of her armor. Uh -oh. The eye of Medusa is said to halt men in their tracks, stop their heart, or even turn them to stone. Though it is not, the eye of Medusa fixes your gaze all the same. Okay, yep, I have to duck this. Puffy, plum, half lidded by cloth, a pink eye stares up at you from the sword instructor's no! breast. <gasps> Her nipples coming out of the top. Unable to handle the visible existence of such a well-formed bosom, your brain is forced to shut down. Ouch! Got a nosebleed, uh. of course. Ugh, passed out. Faint. Hey, are you alright? You just blacked out and your nose is bleeding. <laughs> the story right. wasn't that bad, come on. Maybe you took a couple hits from those goblins and didn't feel it till now. Let's get you to Yeah. Oh, blush. Thank you again for spending time with me today. I'm usually around the North Yard if you want to train or talk. You probably already knew that. Uh. Well, you want to talk with me now, but you always tell me you're training. You have to talk with me later. So which is it gonna be? Hmm? Jesus, they're gonna talk talking away while you're bleeding to death. You get to the healer now, all right? <laughs> Question: Is the healer the alchemist? I've always wondered, like, who is the healer in this place? Did her morale go down? No, it didn't adjust because it was that way before. Till next time, apprentice. Okay, so it's afternoon. Two more things. Um, is it the Cinder Guard that has a job? No. The time Hello for there. us to burn is coming. Let's do it. Let's Wonderful. Do it. Believe it or not, a unicorn magic comes from her happiness. So the happier unicorn is, the stronger her magical I magic becomes. Know but about if a unicorn that. becomes sad, well, they will become weak or even lose their power completely. So if you make a unicorn cry. 
her tears magic because it's leaving her body? Hmm. I'm happy to help the royal commander, but it's so dark in here with the ominous stone and small windows. If you listen, the wind even sounds like ancient chanting. Really? It'd be cool if there was some sort of like ambience like Wonderful. that. Wonderful. Wouldn't happen to be good at drawing, would you? Even if it was just a doodle of a rainbow with a little sunshine, I think it'd be help a lot. I had fun drawing when I apprenticed for that painter. Maybe I could make a rainbow drawing for the Unicorn Guard. After all, I got fired for leaving the paint jars open, not because of my drawing. So it's... Okay, yeah, we'll accept you. <laughs> really? You can draw? Well, I can paint. The girl hands you a small box of color wax pens. I don't know about that. The alchemist gave me these as a gift, but it was pretty obvious she was just learning me into her lab to experiment on my unicorn magic. Wonderful. I think they would be better off in the hands of an artist like yourself. Look forward to seeing your drawing. Before you can start drawing, you need to find scroll paper. Maybe if you ask around the castle, you can find some. Scroll paper. Well, last time I found tinsels in the page, so I'll see if Price of a Charm. No. Scroll paper out in this lab, probably. Oop. Scroll paper. Oh, of course, the doll would probably have that, right? What am I doing? Lower card, there you go. Here I am wandering, wandering aimlessly. She quickly turns to open a fresh page on her scroll pad and begins to scribble. Hi, hi, apprentice. You asked politely for a piece of scroll paper. She immediately clutches her scroll. Oh no! Turning away from you, she then carefully tears down a page of scroll paper. You weren't trying to peek, but you still managed to catch a glimpse of a drawing. It's hard to tell what the drawing was, oh, but it's pretty obvious she draws pretty well. As much as I want to ask her about this, the unicorn guard is waiting for me. Thanks! Gotta run! The doll guard crosses out whatever she was writing before and holds up her pad. Okay, bye! Now it's time to get this drawing done. What am I gonna draw? What am I gonna draw? Oh, it's so cute! You have created a rainbow drawing. Aww! So every time I talk to the unicorn, I want to make some sort of leprechaun joke, right? Where's the leprechaun? Well, I guess it's in the sky, we don't see it. The unicorn guard from a princess. This is the cutest thing! It's not the finest piece of art you've ever seen, but it will have to do. It'll make her happy, I'm sure of it. I should bring this rainbow drawing to the unicorn guard right away. With the confidence you can muster, you present the rainbow drawing to the unicorn guard. Wonderful. It's a beautiful! So many colors. Wonderful. I love it. Thank you, Prentice. That was a very kind gesture. I should put this rainbow drawing on the inside of my shield so I can always- What? That's cool. So your shield's like a locker now. Nice. Stay happy and magical. Stay happy and magical. That's exactly what she says, I think, on the uh, t-shirt merch. Stay happy and magical, I believe. Okay. Fox. I think the fox has a job to do. What would you like? Yes, here we go. As if. The sea air is too salty, it makes my fur all frizzy, and I can't sleep. Okay, this should say, it makes my fur all frizzy, and I can't. There should be an apostrophe to you here. It makes my fur all frizzy, and I can't hmm. stand it. You look like you have some time on your hands. Would you like to help me brush my... <laughs> Let me rephrase that. How does Archer say it? Phrasing? If I were to give you the privilege of combing the dirt and salt out of my fur, would you be grateful? Accepting this job. Oh, so for a second there she dropped her, and then she had to pull back, say, "I, you are beneath me. Accepting this job will take time." Yes. <laughs> you're a good little pet boy, aren't you? The fox's words seem to put you into a very relaxed, calm state, like laying in the grass on a warm summer afternoon, toying with the idea of taking a Despicable. nap. Despicable. Now hurry up and get brushing. I feel disgusting. Start with the leftmost tail, and spiral to the right from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's a nine-tailed fox, so the less is there, I think. The fox hand shoves a brush in your hand and quickly turns her back to you. A cluster of tails swatch your face, but they were so fluffy it felt kind of nice. The scent of lilac flowers wafts up into your nose as you take a moment to absorb the sensation of fox Despicable. Tails. Don't smell them, you idiot! Hurry up and get started hmm. already. You're a good little pet boy, aren't you? After the fox says the words a second time. Okay, I was about to say it. Didn't that sound like she was repeating it? Ah, a chord strikes inside you as you make a sudden realization. This girl is the most beautiful, funny, smart, and caring person I've ever met. I'll do anything for her. 
does she have sent like does her fox sent like charm people next couple hours went were the time of your life as she once twice thrice and repeating once twice thrice and this repeating. how many began. times do i have to tell you three brushes is not enough more more okay enough enough next tale listening to song of dagon past despicable i tried to tell the elf purple makes her look fat but she told me to took it the wrong way whatever she only stays skinny because she's an elf i wish she would get fat no you I don't wish that Best of all, receiving her praise for doing such a good Ow. job. Ouch, that hurt, you clumsy buffoon. Be more careful on tangling those knots. As if. Never mind, you're just making more knots at this point. Why don't you be a good little pet boy and jump off a bridge? No way! Her. Okay, she must have charming. Like, her. She must have some sort of thing with her scent. Without a second thought, you're joyfully jog over to the closest jumping point and dive off the castle bridge. Washing ashore. Wow, it actually changes like my location. Washing ashore, you have an awakening of sorts. Like washing up with a hangover, but more metaphorical. You remember the fox being nice and kind, but thinking back, you can't figure out why. Like some twisted jigsaw puzzle where the pieces don't line up. That's when you remember a similar instance from your past. At the traveling circus. Is this the same one the merchant was at? Where there was a gypsy fortune teller that could hex customers into doing what you want. Yes, see? She hexes you with her scent or something. Fox must be using gypsy magic. Okay, I like how there's all these different forms of magic. Okay, it's the end of the day. I'm gonna stop right here. This has been fun. Getting to connect with the characters. Amazing. Well, bros, until the next one. Peace.